Hello everyone, Mir Farm Master here and today we have On the Farm, Day 5, Season 5. And not only is it on the farm, we have a bit of a hilltop farm slash extension with this video. So stay tuned to see that. But let's get straight into it. So here we've got the 7.5 being picked up a new to us Stuart Grain trailer off a local neighbour's farm. We are, uh, it's literally off farm condition. Uh, being used, but not too heavy. As you can see, it's not brand new, but hopefully we can make use of it. Teresa's pulling forward to back it around there. We got the 6.5 on the Bailey drop down trailer. Uh, with the four meter coon power hour on he's uh just loaded up and waiting for the seven five to get out of the way to head out power hiring some plowing six six is still parked up on a diet feeder the rest of the yard is quite quiet at the moment everyone's out busy at the moment moving over to this yard as you can see the hedges have been cut We've got the 3650 on the little three ton trailer and he's been out cutting firewood and he's just brought that back and he's going to switch over to the log splitter and split that up and uh, take that back home to keep warm this winter. 190 yards still packed up, muck's better still there, we're hoping to maybe get some muck out at some point if it stays dry. Moving on over to this shard, as we can see, Christmas has come early. Got the 210R on the brand new Slurry Cat Twin Axle Slurry Tanker. So they've just been and picked that up. Just came into the dealer, being PDI'd, and here she is. So, see what else arrives in their yard in the next few weeks. But we've got the lads just looking at it. Ready for slurry season 2024. The Kramer over there, not in such good ways. She's got an odd blue issue. Still waiting for the dealer to come out. So they've been borrowing our loader now and again when they need it. Um, but let me know what you think to the tanker. And if you can wait, can't wait to see it on slurry next year. Moving on over to this part of this plate, as we can see, we've got the 6.9 on the 5 for a Dow's Road plow. He's just marking out his headland, ready to get a bit of ploughing done. It's finally dried out, had a bit of a frost, so he's going to manage to get this field ploughed, maybe get it drilled. Might be a bit late now, but it's better in the ground than sat in the bag. Over here we have the Scorpion and the 90. They're quickly putting up a last minute fencing gateway into this silage field. So they're just on with that. With a bit of pressure from the other lad, he's moving sheep onto this silage ground that the sheep are going to graze over winter. Um, so hopefully the sheep don't find the hole before they get done I'm sure they'll be fine they've uh, put a bit of electric fence up this side as the hedge has a few gaps so he's on with that with the armour up and a triax slide for Williams moving round we've got the the class area in 640 replacement which is John Deere 6820 uh, full spec 50k front linkage She's just on the hedge cutter at the moment cutting hedges and verges So let me know what you think to the new addition and Also what you think to the hilltop farm Extension if you would like to call it that it's still a work in progress, but I thought I'd show you instead of waiting to do a video 
that's why we have a gap here because there's a gateway going in and a few more bits to do like a water trough to add to this field a few extra details maybe the odd road sign and bits like that uh, this field so the stubble field that just wants a bit more doing to the tram lines this is going to be just bare soil so i can show land work and yeah so let me know what you think to the extension guys tell me what your favorite part of the video was and don't forget to like comment subscribe check out all the other videos and let me know what to see next thanks for watching